Uh, meanwhile, we've shown you this shocking video of a migrant moped gang dragging a woman down a New York City street. She crashes into a bike stand right there. She's lucky every bone in her body wasn't broken. They were trying to steal her purse and inside it her phone. And now we're learning these gangs on mopeds of migrants allegedly have hired hackers to access victims' bank accounts. The New York City Police Department saying, quote, they're getting into their Venmo, they're getting into their Zelle accounts, and they're using that money to make purchases. They will essentially clear out the accounts. Here with more is the president of New York City's Detective Endowment Association, Paul DiGiacomo. Paul, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Thank you. Okay, so this is a new wrinkle with the migrants. Some of them are actually forming little mobs. They're, it's, it's organized crime. Absolutely. This is the organized crime. It's just like the mafia, but it's a not a non-traditional. It's a non-traditional organized crime group, and it's a continuing criminal enterprise. And this is something that has to be worked on on a double prong with the NYPD and the federal government to really uh, stop this uh, this syndicate. Sure, but Paul, as we've seen in New York with those uh, those guys, uh, those men and women who beat up the cops. They went before a judge, they just let them go. And unfortunately, if it's a small crime, they're not going to do any time. Well, even if it's a big crime, they don't do crime uh, any time at all. You know, uh, the reality is, for three years now, we've been telling uh, Albany that the bail reform laws are not working. And uh, clearly, they're not working because these individuals are out. Uh, you know, this law has to be changed to, hell, to hold the criminal element uh, accountable for their actions. And there must be consequences. And until we have consequences, crime will continue to go up. Absolutely. Because let's face it, Paul, they are a flight risk uh, for the people who oh, beat sure. up the cop. Uh, you know, we can't find them. Cops can't find them Absolutely. anywhere. Yeah. And, and so that is a problem. Now, for people watching right now, help us out. Um, I, I know that now that apparently these migrant uh, mobsters essentially on the mopeds have um, figured a way to hire hackers to hack into your bank apps on your phone. How can we protect mm -hmm. ourselves so that if they get our phone, they don't have our bank? Well, it's, it's very difficult to do. Um, but I will say this. Uh, New York City detectives uh, will apprehend these individuals. Uh, they will track them down, and they will bring them to justice. I hope that they bring it on a federal level, because if they bring it to the courts in Manhattan, uh, nothing will be done. And that's the problem. Uh, this has to be an effort by the NYPD, uh, the federal government, and we have to work hand in hand uh, to make sure that these individuals uh, are properly punished. Yeah. But, Paul, you've been watching the news. The federal government and the localities that are sanctuary cities, they're not working together. You know, they essentially let them into the country, and then they have carte blanche in many instances. Unfortunately, now they've they've game the system where they can rob people with impunity. Well, we have we have task forces here in the NYPD that work with the FBI uh, to combat these type of crimes, and I'm sure that we will. Uh, and it's Hope better so. than it's going on a federal track, because at least the AUSAs will prosecute these cases. Uh, if it goes to Alvin Bragg, uh, right. they'll be out within 10 minutes. Oh, man, no kidding. All right. Paul, thank you very much. We know you guys are working on that. Thank you, sir. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.